Hey kids and parents, welcome to day 19 of Excel Mini. This week we have been learning about these amazing miracles that Jesus did here on earth. Changing water into wine, healing a paralyzed man, healing a blind man, feeding thousands of people, calming a storm. Now these stories almost sound like they're made up, right? We know that they are true because they come from the Bible and everything in the Bible is true. That's the same with the story we're gonna learn today. So let's all watch and listen closely as we learn today's true Bible story. Stories of the Bible. Peter walks on water. This is Peter. Hey Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus. Whoa! And he heard all his teachings. Great crowds followed Jesus wherever he went. One day after Jesus had done a great miracle, he sent the disciples in a boat across the lake while he stayed and sent the people home. See ya! Hey, Jesus! After sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Ah! In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! Hold on there. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Hmm. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. So Jesus said, yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat. Whoa, you're awesome. And walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, ah! Ah! he was terrified and began to sink. Peter, help me. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Jesus said, you have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshiped him and said, you really are the son of God. Peter was a fisherman who followed Jesus. You remember we actually learned about Peter's story back on day nine. Well, Peter got to see firsthand many of the miracles that Jesus was doing. One day after Jesus did the miracle of feeding the 5,000, he sent the disciples out onto a boat to cross the lake. And then he dispersed the people that were there. Then Jesus went up onto a hillside to pray by himself. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble out on the water. A huge storm had come up and there was wind and waves and their boat was going crazy. They were so afraid. Well, Jesus in the middle of the night came out to them and walked on the water. I know that sounds unbelievable, right? Well, the disciples saw this person coming towards them, walking on the water, and they were like, ah, it's a ghost. Ah, it's a ghost. They were so afraid. They didn't even know it was Jesus. Jesus spoke to them and said, don't be afraid. Take courage. I'm with you. Well, Peter was still not sure if he really believed that was Jesus. So he decided to test it. And he said, Jesus, if that is you, have me come out to you on the water. So that's what Jesus did. He told Peter to come to him. Peter stepped out of the boat and he too began to walk on top of the water. Now, as Peter got closer to Jesus, he started looking around at the wind and the waves, that huge storm, and he got so afraid that he started to sink. And he called out to Jesus, save me. Jesus reached down and saved Peter. When Peter and Jesus got onto the boat, the wind and waves, the storm completely stopped. The disciples were amazed at what had happened and they worshiped Jesus. See, Jesus can do anything. And that is what our verse this week has helped us remember. So let's practice it. Ready? Point up and say, with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Okay, now get your Bibles out. Open to Matthew 14 and read verses 22 to 33. Then you know what time it is. That's right. It's activity time. Activity time. Woo -hoo. For your first activity, collect five to seven items of things that you can walk on top of, like blankets, 
bubble wrap, or even aluminum foil. For your second activity, you need cornstarch, water, and a container. You're gonna mix up a batch of oobleck to use with our second activity. So let's get to it. Read your Bible story, do your two activities, practice your verse, and don't forget to pray and talk to Jesus. I can't wait to hear how it goes. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.